Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth Sennett and the story I am going to tell you today is an old English folktale called The Baker's Daughter and this version is from the collection Clever Gretchen and Other Forgotten Folktales as retold by Alison Lurie. I hope you enjoy it. There once was a baker who had two daughters. Although they were twins, they were as different as summer and winter. One daughter was generous and good-natured, while the other was selfish, greedy, and cross. On a cold evening, when the wind swept the streets like a broom, the good-natured daughter was serving in the baker's shop. A poor, ragged old woman came in, leaning on a staff, and asked if she might have a bit of dough. Certainly, Granny, said the girl, and pulled off a large piece. And might she bake it in the oven, asked the old woman. Yes, surely, said the girl. The old woman sat in the corner and seemed to sleep until the bread was done. Wake up, Granny, said the girl, and then cried, why look? The loaf has doubled in size, and so it shall always be for you because of your generous heart, said the old woman, who was really a fairy in disguise. She threw off her cloak and stood up all tall and shining and touched the girl with her staff. From that day on, anything that the girl put into the oven, whether it was a loaf of bread cake or pie came out twice the size. Time went on and one evening the ill-natured daughter was serving in the baker's shop. The same old ragged woman came in leaning on a staff and asked if she might have a bit of dough. The girl grudgingly pulled off a small piece for her father had told her that she must be kind to beggars. And might she bake it in the oven? asked the old woman. Oh, very well, if I must, said the baker's daughter. The old woman went and sat in the corner and seemed to sleep. When the bread was done, the baker's daughter opened the oven and saw that the loaf had doubled in size. That's far too large for the likes of her, said the baker's daughter, and set the loaf aside for herself. She pulled off another piece of dough, half the size of the first, and put it in the oven. Presently, the bread was done, and when the girl opened the door, she saw that this loaf was twice the size of the first. Well, that's far too large for the likes of her, said the girl, and she pulled off an even smaller piece of dough, barely as big as her thumb, and shoved it in the oven. When the bread was done, the girl opened the door and saw that this loaf had swelled so that it filled almost the entire oven, and it was covered with sugar and filled with currants and raisins. Well, that's far too large and far too fine for the likes of her, said the girl, and set the third loaf aside. Now, the old woman opened her eyes and sat up and asked the girl if the bread was done. It burnt up in the oven, hoo-hoo, said the girl, laughing. Is that all you have to say to me? asked the old woman. Hoo-hoo, what else should I say? cried the girl, laughing still. And so it shall always be for you, said the fairy, and threw off her cloak and stood up all tall and shining. Henceforth, the only thing that you shall ever say is who, who? She struck the girl with her staff, and the girl turned into an owl and flew out the window, hooting into the night. The end. All right, thank you guys so much for watching my performance, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.